As most eyes cast their view on the Gaza Strip in the Middle East and the Ukraine, we can often forget to check up on what's been happening, which have we have been following for years. And for myself, yes, it's the famous Free Gorgia Dam. And this is why I did this title, because quite a few people would say, why are you doing the same thing? Notify me when it's collapsed. Well, trust me, you will be notified in one way or the other in many ways, not just from me, but economy, um, goods, etc., etc. It's a uh, China's Achilles heel. It is, if it breaks, then it's like 15% of the world's trade is going to have crisis in it, which is actually really shocking, and it's, that's why it's so important. The Free Gorgia Dam has not cracked recently or collapsed or chipped away or warped or moved in any way, but the levels have got really close to the warning level. And at the time of recording on Wednesday, the 11th of October, 2023, we can go to here and it's 174.04. Now, the warning line is now 96 centimetres away. So over the last couple of days, inch by inch, centimetre by centimetre, it has actually risen. What is the reason for this? There could be some. They could be filling it up to the maximum of the maximum level, the warning level 175, um, to store water ready for the dry season to come. Uh, it's going to be over with the wet season. It should be round about now, but we still have some remains of typhoons hovering around the southeastern part of China. Yeah. And then they would possibly use the water just to generate electricity. They could use the water to irrigate the pastures, the farmlands down below. We don't, uh, we don't actually know. It is like the CIA or whatever secret service. We get very little information from it and they don't release it either. So even the satellite images that I would usually show, the last satellite image is on the 7th of October. So that's four days ago and it's cloudy. So we can't see anything if these sluice gates are open or not. But if it's rising, I would say the sluice gates are obviously not. We can go back to the graph or the levels here. You can also see Yingchang. Yingchang is the town or the city about 40 kilometers away. There, they do have a smaller dam and their maximum or their warning level is 53. And at the moment, Yingchang has gone down. You can see it in green at 42.4, sorry, 42.20. And the flow is 11,700. So that one's gone down. So what is happening with the dam? It's anyone's guess. Now, someone did actually say to me, you need to go over there. And I would absolutely 100% agree with you. But um, it's rather an expensive trip to go. I would have to go to Thailand and fly to Thailand. And then I can fly directly to um, Kuming and then Kuming to Yingchang. And then I would have to take a bus to the Three Gorges or I could go to Chongqing. But it's not a cheap expense. And you need visas to go to China as well. So I do know one person who is in Chongqing. Hi, Donald, how are you? If you want to take a trip down the the Free Gorges to the Free Gorges, it's only 660 kilometers away. Please do so and send me some pictures on my email. That would be marvelous. But that's all that I really got to say about the Free Gorges Dam at the moment. There's no news about it apart from the levels that we've kept an eye on over the last three or four days, and they have risen. I will check tomorrow, and I can imagine that they are going up. Is there anything to worry about? Well, you do have the experts and engineers there, obviously trained in hydro power, etc. I'm sure they know what they're dealing with. I don't think there's any serious problem, and I've can guess what's going to happen is that it will go up to 175, maybe 176 um, 
uh, meters and then it will just be stagnant it will stay there and then it will be slowly released because in may time they need to bring it down to 145 um, meters because that will be the start of the rainy season may 2024 Many thanks to all the comments, many thanks to all the likes. I know some people are going to say, just inform me when the Free Gorgia Dam collapses. Um, the cats are all fine. There is one here, I can just show you lying there. This is Pickle again. The other one is on the wardrobe in the bedroom. And I am actually doing some um, things related to some live streams, which I've done too in the last two days related to the situation in Israel. Now, hopefully I'm doing it in a very objective way. Go and check out my channel by going to the home page and you just click the latest videos you can see there. Do like and subscribe. Uh, you can actually, for example, go to Rutiers on YouTube at the moment. I'll just turn the screen around like this and you can see uh, this is a live stream of the Damn, I'm not too sure if that works. Okay, can you see it? Yeah, you can sort of see it. And um, I sort of have this constantly on. Yesterday was, um, I had this on and I saw maybe like five bombs every hour. And what's happening there, I reiterate, I just actually feel sorry for the people who's uh, the Israelis and the Palestinians who just want to get on with their daily life and um, just think this Hamas and whatever is just a bunch of losers, but they have no control over this, so they just get on. You could say the same with the CCP. In China, people don't like to talk about the government. Are they happy with them? Well, the Chinese government say that 96% of the people are happy uh, with, um, with the Chinese government. But I could say, come on, which country in the world is going to be 96% happy with their government? It's definitely not going to be the UK or England or France or Germany or Turkey or wherever. Very few countries will at that high percentage. So when they do produce these facts, well, I think it's a bit of baloney. And if you look where the statistics come from, it would be a Chinese statistics operation board. It wouldn't be independent. And if you look deeper, the statistics board would come actually come as a state-owned company from China. And when you do go and register your vote, who do you like the CCP? Obviously, you need your ID card, and that's going to be linked to you. That's going to lower your social credit score system. And you may get a and the police saying, let's come for a cup of tea. Um, Winnie is downstairs, by the way, my, my cup with Winnie the Pooh. So that's what's sort of happening. Now, please do leave comments, please do share. And if anyone wants to support my beautiful two kitty cats, the links in the description below is how you can help the kitty cats financially. I think that is about it. I waffled for eight minutes about nothing. Uh, so God bless to all. I will keep you updated um, with Free Gorges, with China, with typhoons, what's happening or just coming to the end of that. And uh, along with the situation um, in Israel, Palestine, etc., and in that area of the world. God bless to all. Thank you so much for your time. I will say bye-bye for now. Cheers.